Hey, God bless your greater harvest. This is your pastor and I am really excited because we are approaching annual men's day. It'll be May 28th, the fourth Sunday in May at 10 a.m. Now that is Memorial Day weekend. It is also Pentecost Sunday. So we're doing a lot of things at one time, but I'm so thankful uh, that we can multitask. We've been blessed to be creative and we're going to multitask. So my challenge to you, our Greater Harvest members, my challenge to you is twofold. Number one, I want you to come and be a part of this annual Men's Day service. I want you, every member, I want you to come in person. Number two, the second part of this uh, challenge is I want you to consider the men in your life, whether it's co-workers, neighbors, uh, friends, uh, family members. I want you to consider the men in your life. And if you have a man that you can invite that doesn't normally go to church, doesn't regularly attend church anywhere, I want you to invite them. I want you to personally invite them. And we're going to dress down. It's going to be a casual service so they don't have to worry about whether or not they have church clothes. Just uh, bring them to church. And uh, not only are our men leading us in worship, and we're not only are we going to have a powerful service, but after service, our men are going to serve our members lunch. We're going to serve our members lunch and your guests, the man that you bring, that man and his wife, that man and his children, uh, whoever comes with that man that you invite we're going to serve them much. So I'm excited. I hope you get excited. Pray with me for the impact of this service as we look to strengthen men, which will strengthen our church, strengthen our families, and strengthen this community. Remember, our church is a blessed church, and we see a greater harvest in your future.